Hey guys, it's Aaron here with Yellow Sky Actions. I'm just doing a little tutorial today on how to install our um, our actions for elements 6 through 10 on Windows 7. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. After you make your purchase, you'll get an email that looks something like this. It says it's from Yellow Sky Actions and um, has like Photoshop elements 6 through 10. So I've already clicked on that on another tab. So here's what that looks like. And then we just click on eJunkie and that takes us to this. And then you click on here and it'll start downloading automatically. And that's what I've already done. So it's down here in, in Chrome. This may also be in your downloads folder wherever that is um, for your browser. Whether you're using Internet Explorer or um, Firefox or whatever. I like to do show in folder. I'm going to double click on that. Photoshop elements. Here's the installation instructions in case you um, just don't like hearing my voice or don't like watching videos. You can go through that. You can just stop here if you wanted to. But um, it'd probably be better if you just keep watching and know what to do. Okay, so here is all your actions with the uh, accompanying PNG files, which are just little pictures that go with your actions so that you can. Um, th that's basically what you see in Photoshop Elements. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit Control A to select all of them. You can also um, just you know select the first one and just go to the very bottom. Hold the Shift key down and click on the the last one. Um, so there should be 160, and then. I'm going to right click, copy. So I've just copied all of those files. I'm going to close that. Um, now I'm going to go hit the start button and I'm going to just get into. Um, I basically just need to find my C drive. So I clicked on documents. I can go down here to my main drive. For Windows 7, we need to find the program data folder, this one right here. Now, a lot of times, this folder is hidden um, for whatever reason. I don't know why you would hide files, but um, PC does that. And so, if you can't see, if you don't see this folder under your under your C drive, um, what you can do is go to Start, and then under Search Programs and Files, you can do type in Folder Options. Then it shows up up here. This is also in control panel. It's just a little bit easier to find that way. And I think this might be different on different um, on different computers. Uh, I've just seen it a few different ways. But on mine, it you click on the view tab, and then you want to make sure you have selected show hidden files, folders, and drives. Um, so whatever yours looks like, you're basically just trying to show the hidden files. You get it. Um, so I'm canceling out of there because I've already done that. Uh, otherwise, you just hit OK or Apply. So I'm going to double click on Program Data or Data, Tomato, Tomato. Um, there's Adobe, Photoshop Elements. Um, and then this will be whatever number of elements you have. So if you have Element 6, this will be a 6 and 10, uh, etc. You get it. So I'm clicking on that. Photo creations, then photo effects. Here's all the uh, these are all the actions that came with your Photoshop elements. Um, so now I'm going to hit Control, hold down Control, and then V as in Virginia, and that's going to paste all of the actions on there. Oh, I guess I left some in there before. I'm going to copy and replace. Since you guys don't have those in there, you'll just be, it'll just paste them in there. Now, after this is done, um, a lot of you 
will be done and then you can just um, and you can just go on and uh, you can just restart elements make sure it's closed and restart it and it may work but um, if that's not the case you may want to just go ahead and come back to uh, to this you can just go back to the 9 folder um, under uh, locale double click on that double click on ENUS um, I've already um, since I've already done this I've already renamed this um, older so all you're gonna see is this media database file right here so I'm gonna rename that I'm gonna right click select rename you can just trash this file I just don't like to tell people to trash anything because um, I need to get better liability insurance I guess just kidding. Um, that's that's just a database folder that elements um, generates on its own so don't worry about it just rename it older and then um, another thing is that if you've um, if you've unsuccessfully installed um, these same actions before and it didn't work for whatever reason another folder another thing you might want to delete is this thumbnail database and that's just something that is created whenever you open up Photoshop elements so now all we have to do is go and restart elements Now this is going to take a little bit longer than it normally does to open because it's building back up the contents and effects because you added a you added a whole bunch of new actions to it. So um, this can take this can take a little while depending on your computer. It usually takes about it can take anywhere from five to fifteen minutes um, for my computer. So um, don't freak out. It's going to show a little um, if it ever opens. My computer is just really slow. Um, if it, it'll show a little dialog box that says building contents and effects um, and it'll show a progress bar um, and at that point you'll be able you should see your um, your actions your yellow sky actions in the photo effects box and I will talk about that in a following tutorial because I don't want to wait 15 more minutes for this to load alright have a good day